Um, I'm really pleased to have Marshall Gantz with me today, and he's going to discuss the challenges of organizing healthcare systems. Hi, Dr. Fred. <laughs> no, it's um, one of the things about people who work, who are called to be healers, is that um, they have to confront the world's pain daily and have to be sources of hope daily. And that intersection of, of recognizing the world's pain, but also having to be a source of hope, uh, requires enormous moral energy to do the work. Uh, or, in other terms, commitment. Now, there's a, there's a classic Harvard Business Review article that distinguishes two kinds of organizations, uh, what are called compliance organizations and commitment organizations. Compliance organizations are all about uh, command and control and trying to get people to comply with minimal standards in order to produce widgets. Commitment organizations require uh, fostering, motivating uh, commitment that is creative, uh, that's uh, innovative, that's adaptive. And healthcare, more than about almost anything you could think of, rests on commitment. Yet when we design organizations that are intended to produce compliance, we put healers in, in a box where what draws them to the work and what makes them great at it is exactly what a lot of the organizations drive out. And so that contradiction is one of the core contradictions in the way we do healthcare. And so reorganizing the provision of healthcare in such a way that it rests on commitment and on collaboration and on the values and th that, that go with that, I think is probably one of the most important things we need to learn how to do. Now, how can as an individual bring this about? How can, how can someone who wants to see this happen, who is not the CEO, <laughs> how can they bring this about? Well, I mean, that's of course a big, you know, good question. I think, I mean, I think people need to find the domains and the spaces where they can begin to actually develop this model and, and demonstrate it. Uh, and my uh, experience is that that's happening kind of all over the country uh, in varieties of whether hospitals, in, in different uh, practices, because especially among the rising generation of healthcare providers, there's a real understanding of the need to align organizational structure with, with the mission, with, with the requirements of the work, which is about fostering commitment. So if you can carve out a ward, if you can carve out a department, if you can carve out a district where there's enough autonomy to begin to reorganize on relational, collaborative, values-based grounds, um, then you begin to create on the ground a different reality. But of course, sooner or later, you know, it, it's, it's a challenge to the way we've designed these structures. And um, the people who run these organizations, maybe they'll just have to be new people. Marshall, that's uh, very insightful, and I really appreciate your, uh, your eloquent description of the, the challenges ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you.